hi everyone and welcome back to a new video in this video i will be showing you guys how to make a toggle grid view button just like this one where you can well toggle the grid view and make the size of the frames or templates inside of your scrolling frame look smaller now this can be useful when coding a pet inventory system or anything like that and with that being said let's get right into the video so before before this video starts i want to let you guys know that i have a patreon so if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files they will all be available on my patreon in the ten dollars tier that being said let's start so what i'm going to do is add a screen gui inside of star gui and add a frame or a scrolling frame sorry a scrolling frame and i'm going to change the size to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so that is automatically converted to scale. Actually, uh, the size should be 0 0.1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.1, 0, and if you just scale this, as you can see, the offset stays at 0, and only the scale value changes. Now, what I'm going to do is just add a UI grid layout to this and I'll show you what this does in a second but for now let's add a frame inside of my scrolling frame and I'm going to change the background color to a nice red and if I duplicate this frame now as you can see it's automatically placed correctly now what I'm going to do is change the cell size to scale so offset should be zero and the offset for the y should also be 0 and the scale for the x should be 0 0.1 or 0 0.3 and the scale or 0 0.2 and the scale for the y should be 0 0.15 i think uh, i mean 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 0 0.07 0.06 perfect now i'm going to change the horizontal alignment to center so that the frames are centered and the border size pixel to zero for the uh, scrolling frame now what i'm going to do is add a a text button and I'm going to place it right here and make sure it's not inside of the scrolling frame or else it will get affected by the UI grid layout. And I'm going to change the text scale property to true and the text to toggle grid view. Now I'm going to add a local script to this and I'm going to have some variables. So the first variable should be frame and it will be equal to the reference of your scrolling frame so script dot parent dot parent dot scrolling frame now local ui grid layout is equal to frame dot ui grid layout and local size is equal to two i'll show you what the size variable does but for now let's make another variable called is uh, is uh maybe scaled is scaled is equal to false and i'm going to have a script dot parent on my dot mouse button one click event i'll connect function and if not is scaled then else so if it's not scaled then we're going to scale it scale down else we'll just scale up so if it's scaled down then we will set the y grid layout dot grid dot cell size is equal to udim2 dot new or dot from scale and the y grid layout dot cell dot cell size dot x dot scale divided by size comma and copy this put it here and change this to y instead and 
th after that, I'm going to set the is scaled variable to true. And I'll just copy this, put it here, but this time we'll multiply this by the size and do the same thing here. And I'm going to change the is scaled variable to false. Now, if I play the game, I'm pretty sure that should work. So toggle grid view, and as you can see, it works perfectly. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, what I'm going to do is mess around with some settings. Firstly, I'm going to make my scroll bar transparency to 1, or the thickness to 1. And hopefully that will look a lot cleaner. Yes. And I also want to mess around with these settings. So this should be 1.3. And yeah, I do think this is a little bit better. Now what I'm going to do is just add some, delete all of this, and I'm going to add a UI corner to make it look a bit better. 0 0.1, 0.0. And I think I'm going to mess around with the size highs again. So I'm going to change this to 0.55 or I mean 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.64. Yeah, 0.64 is perfect. Now I'm going to have a lot more of these. And let's make let's make this start at the left or maybe just center and this should look a lot cleaner and yes it, it does and yeah i think this is going to be it for this tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video Share it with your friends and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!